know, I like what they do with the, the mm. curvature of the mm. the ends. Mm. What about you? Um, what do you see? I see a banana duct taped to a wall. That's beautiful. And I'm willing to spend $10 million on it. I'd go as far to spend 12 12 million dollars but you, you but you know what it kind of looks like a, a eggplant splattered on a wall mm. with scotch tape to me mm. 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 <laughs> you know beauty is in the eye of the beholder yeah right? fruit and uh is art yeah especially if you duct tape it to a wall uh, you want to go grab a beer somewhere <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm bored let's go <laughs> oh i God. listen i could look at that piece of uh, art for hours hours and continually and still not enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone Hey, welcome to the Better Doozy Podcast. Yeah, you know we're really hungover today. <laughs> yeah, it's you know sometimes you have those weeks that uh, you still gotta. Uh, still you, you have obligations. Uh, yeah, you still yeah, have to follow yeah, through with. Yeah. We, we you were know, celebrating a, an engagement party for two guests who have been on yeah, the that's podcast right, before. That's so right. We, we and you know sometimes crazy. you uh, rent the room at uh, a certain time, and oh. then you don't get started until an hour and a half. Right. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. But anyways, you know, guys, you're probably thinking, what the heck is going on? What does that word mean? (sighs) Well, the word doozy means something that's extraordinary or outstanding of its kind. And it's obvious we are not that. But we want to be. Because what else is there to do? Yeah. (laughs) And so this is the podcast that we're going to give you the tools you need to become successful in life. How do I do this? How do I do that? How do I enjoy something that could potentially just be very, very soul-sucking and boring? Right. You know? Exactly. And the best part is we're going to learn how to be successful ourselves, but we also are teaching you how to be successful yourself. Yeah. So Makes sense it's to a be. win-win for everybody. It's a win-win for everybody, because <laughs> yeah. I know you guys are at the edge of your seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up. Ooh, uh, my name, how to fishing was, my, was a yeah. good one. My name is uh, Kirk Eggplant Stuck to a Wall with Scotch Tape Cause. I'm Alex Mona Lisa Star. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah I'm hey, Kirk, well, uh, Kirk, well, what are we going to learn about today? Well, I think it's pretty evident. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, well, it, we're, we're entering into spring and uh, New York and uh, across the whole freaking world. Y- y- what are some popular spring activities? One thing we thought was we're, we have a city with so much culture, so much art and stuff. What if we did... How to enjoy a museum. Hey. Museums. You know, museum, there's, there's, there, there's so many different things that can constitute a museum. There's history museums. There is uh, art museums. There is like freaking subway museum, museums. museums. <laughs> there's even sex museums. Wow. You ever been to that one? Museum of sex? No, dude. Dude, I, it's I fun. Haven't, I haven't been to... Any of uh, the museums? I haven't been to a museum. Shut the fuck up. I've never been to any of the museums in New York. I, I knew, really? Yeah, I've been here for like ten years. I haven't gone. To I've the, been the history, the science. I haven't gone. I want to go though. I gotta go. I've been to. We uh, should go and do a vlog for my first time. Yeah. Well, I've been to what? I've been to the Whitney. I've been to the Museum of Sex. I've been to the Metropolitan Museum. I think. Well, I, is, I've, I've worked, like, if I worked and we were at the museum, like, that's where I, I would go. Like, I've been to, like, the MoMA and stuff. Yeah, oh, MoMA as well. Yeah. Or even, like, the Brooklyn Museum. What's the one where it's, like, a, it's a spiral? It's the big spiral museum that goes upwards. What is that? I I don't know. The Gutenberg or something? Gutenberg, maybe? I don't yeah. know. You know, it's crazy. It's kind of like, you know, well, we'll see how the episode goes, but the uh, I think it's, it, it's like, there are so many museums in What's New your York. museum? To be honest, <laughs> the Museum the of Sex, sex, sex is yeah. awesome, yeah. dude. No, seriously. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's what eighteen or twenty one uh, and above uh, can go, but it it is fun. 
Yeah. It, it's just fun, especially like for a date or something. I've been wanting to go back uh, there. It, like a also, you know what? It's like it's definitely not a museum that you go to alone. You freaking yeah. creep! <laughs> <laughs> what are you fucking pedophile? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But I think museum of of sex. But what about you? Uh, is your favorite museum the one that Ellie and Joel uh, go to in part two? Ooh. I know that's sorry. That's a deep cut. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, a post-apocalyptic museum? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably Where not. Where you get, got attacked by a boar. <laughs> where I got attacked by a boar. Yeah. Uh, probably not. Maybe maybe one where there's people and snacks. And, and, and uh, snacks. Oh, that's a good know, thing. There isn't blood written on the wall. That and, says and, the, uh, the, the, li- yeah, the, the exactly. fireflies are liars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, guys, we have uh, 10 tips for you on how to enjoy a museum. This is something, uh, this is an activity that you can do alone you can do it with a significant other with family friends all this stuff and we're just gonna you know it's something that you can do and so let's just jump in to the top 10 tips this is how to enjoy a museum starting with choose a museum that aligns with your interests there are museums of art information history military and war transportation science animals theater and more that's a that's a lot of (laughs) That's a lot of museums. Make a list of subjects that interest you or that you enjoyed when you were in school. Then look up to where uh, uh, look up where to find a museum about what subject in a city near you. Uh, picking a museum that covers that topic will naturally get you excited about the visit. For example, if you love to draw, visit an art museum. If airplanes fascinate you, visit an Air Force museum. If you're making a trip as a family or with friends and everyone likes different things, you need, you'll need you need to compromise. Find a large museum that covers a variety of subjects. The Field Museum in Chicago has permanent exhibits about science, animals, and dinosaurs in addition to their temporary exhibits about various wor- world colors, uh, cultures, I don't know. Yeah, I was had having World a stroke. Colors. But you know, I just while I was reading that, yeah. I was like, it, it, "There is, is there a museum about the history of baldness? Oh. Can you imagine? I'm gonna uh, uh, like a bald museum. Actually, of I bald did. History. I you went haven't? to. Uh, I was in Vegas, and I went to a museum where. It's like the human body or whatever, and they oh, took oh the bodies exhibit the bodies That's huge. exhibit, yeah. and it was just uh, it was That's just pretty mind blowing real dead bodies, and they ripped the skin off of them, and you saw muscles you or see, whatever like muscles or capillaries muscles or, or, or whatever. Like yeah, that. you see yeah. what what underneath the skin looks like, and it's just these like people frozen in like different positions. And it, it's uh, like. It, it, yeah. So what is it's put, wild. put me in a museum when I'm dead and strip my skin off, <laughs> and I'm just I'm like, <laughs> yeah. You know, I I actually forgot to mention, I grew up with, uh, I don't know if it's a chain or whether it was a specific thing, but uh, at Union Station in uh, Kansas City, Missouri, um, there is a place that was like, it was like for kids, but also for families called Science City. Mm. And there was always, always, so obviously it was like a science museum, but there was always exhibits that, the traveling exhibits that would come and... I remember going to Bodies Exhibit or other certain things. It's, yeah. The Museum of Science in Boston is like one of my favorite places to so, go when I was like a kid growing so up. So wait, why are you, why did you lie to me, <laughs> to my face I saying meant, you've I never meant, been to I a museum? I've never been to a museum here in New oh, York. Oh, in New York. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, or like the big ones. Yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, I mean, pretty self-explanatory. What are you interested in? There's probably, there's probably a, uh, a museum for it. Sex? Yeah. That's a good one. Bodies? Uh-huh. Yeah. Boars? Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, furniture? Well, that uh, that's, that's called Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> Furniture Museum. <laughs> the furniture Museum is just Ikea. Um, anyways, let's move on. Um, Before sports? we fall into the depths. Uh, s'mores? Sports. Oh. <laughs> s'mores. Before we fall into the depths. Uh, d- Dude, the depths I am of- trying to. I'm holding on for dear life right now. Uh, hey, 
Go Moving find on. a museum that you want to go to, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Number nine, visit the museum's website. Most museums now have online portals, which allow you to explore the museum virtually. When looking up your chosen museum, find what special exhibits are currently there and what activities, talks, displays, or tours will be happening on the day you visit. I went to at the Museum of Science in Boston. Love that place. Did I mention that? Uh, yeah. Um, they had a Lord of the Rings like exhibit. For oh, like, dude, like that, a, that like shit a, is awesome. I remember like going to that one too. Time like exhibit, and a, we you I went there and you saw like all like the costumes and everything. That was dude. Really those cool. those traveling ones with like all of the like props and original costumes yeah. for really big movies are the coolest. They're really it, cool. It's 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 surreal to see like. Freaking Aragorn's freaking yeah. rider, the yeah. rider. Every time I look at those something. clothes, I'm like, they, they, they're always like really smaller than I think that they are. Yeah, I. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, how do how do they fit in there? There's no way this guy's that small. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you can find a lot about uh the museum and stuff from the the website. Yeah. yeah. If you want to see Aragorn's trousers <laughs> that museum, look go, that to, look the, too go small. to the Lord of the Rings exhibit. Yeah. Um, go yeah. on the website. Yeah, website you can learn a lot cuz uh, another thing is like some some museums charge or some some do like donations. Some are like completely free, which to be honest, I don't get that. I don't understand how it works. You know, I think that's where all of our tax money is going. Jesus, you know, yeah, goes to like the zoos and the state and uh, the state and to the museum and okay, well, yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be free, but and you think it's free, but that's your money, so yeah. you're still paying for it. Uh, moving on to the top eight tip: Museum of taking your money. <laughs> museum of tax museum, fraud. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, kid. I would go to the IRS museum. <laughs> They're like, I need to take some notes. <laughs> what we're doing with Avoid, your don't money. evade. Yeah. Avoid, don't evade. Commit tax fraud. Uh, guys, the top eight tip is look up the museum's hours. Yeah, that's important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go when it's you don't closed. Wanna, you don't want to go when it's closed, and then you have a, a night of the museum situation. You don't want the... the oh, shit, yeah. Man. You in don't the want bodies museum. And then, yeah, <laughs> they all come they to all life. Come or to life. God, you don't want to be. Where's my skin? <laughs> 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 they, they come alive. Ah! Like, ah! <laughs> you don't want to be in the art exhibit when that uh, that duct taped banana <laughs> comes alive. Um, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Somebody yeah. help me, guys. Know what time the museum opens and closes. It will typically be less crowded at the beginning and end of the day. But if you wait to go until right before closing, you risk feeling rushed and not seeing everything you wanted to. Also note whether the museum is closed on national holidays or certain days of the week. This tip is for all the people that keep going to museums and they're like, ah, oh, shit, it's closed. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, closed uh, again. Fuck again. <laughs> what are the hours on this thing? God, I double, triple checked. How I did can't this, go whenever uh, I want. How does this keep happening? It's the night museum. the space museum. God, it's the... Uh, God, I... <laughs> night at the museum. I've been traveling across the entire country. I've been traveling to catch the, the, <laughs> the banana closed. duct the tape banana exhibit. Duct tape, dude. But I keep missing it. Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah, hours. <laughs> this is for all the people who... <laughs> again? Ah, damn it. <laughs> closed again. Uh, I guess closed. I'll try tomorrow same time. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> stupid. Uh, number seven, everyone. Yeah. Moving yeah, along. Yeah, make sure the museum's open. <laughs> A museum about closed museums. <laughs> Dude, the furniture museum is <laughs> furniture just Ikea. You mean Ikea? <laughs> you mean Ikea? <laughs> Number uh, seven, research the museum's fees. There will usually yeah, be... this is one of the things that I was yeah. beginning to mention. It's weird. I don't, I don't, I can't make sense out of it. Okay, well, let's try. Okay. <laughs> there will usually be... <laughs> the Museum of Confusion. There will usually be... No, that's called the Medici <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> 
my, you're experiencing the my, men of doozy yeah, intimate. <laughs> my my mental uh, museum. What uh, what was that? Uh, my brain palace. What my mind palace. My mind palace. The mind the palace museum, museum. Uh, closed again. <laughs> Closed for renovations. Uh, closed it's expense. been closed for renovations it's for thirty getting, years. Gotta get the hours on this thing. Guess I'll try again. Guess I'll try again tomorrow. Same time. Oh, I'm losing it, dude. I'm losing it. Oh, Guess it's hot here. Dude, I promise you, everybody who's listening and watching, I have hot too. Oh. Fucking sweating, guys. I'm, I, I I promise you, this is a good sign that we're losing it. It usually is, is a sign. Of this, is, this is fun. We're having. All right, we're having. We're having uh, fun. Okay, research the museum's fees. Okay, they will usually be. Well, I guess it's the whole knowledge should be free type of thing. I don't know. Let's what figure it out. Should be free. Knowledge. Okay. Knowledge. <laughs> there will usually be prices posted on the website for adults and children. So calculate how much. Entry will cost you. If your museum doesn't accept credit cards, it will likely state that on the site. So read carefully to see if you need to bring cash. Look for any information regarding free days or discount days. Some museums occasionally offer free or discounted entry on a certain weekday or during a slow period to try to attract more visitors. This may be worth adjusting your visit date if you want to save money. Yeah, the, um, the Liberty Science Museum, like literally oh, yeah, right down the yeah. street there. You have to pay like a ticket, like a day ticket to like actually okay. go. Whereas like the Museum of History, I think it's like you can go for free, but you can also donate it. It's if like you feel suggested like it. donation. Yeah. yeah. I it, guess it just depends <clears throat> on the museum. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> well, the bigger ones, I think another thing is like uh, some of these bigger uh, museums in the city, I believe. Uh, can't stay open and, and operate in that way because there's like investors. Yeah. You know, people who <coughs> invest in the curating of certain art or specific things, you know? Yeah. Like if you're, if you have like a seat or something, I, I feel like I, maybe, I, I don't know if I've heard, I don't know where I've heard this, but it feels like there's like, I don't know, the Knights of the Round Table for the Gutenheimer freaking IKEA. Know. Okay. <laughs> for, for IKEA. <laughs> also, look into fees for storage. The museum may charge to check your coat or bag, and they may demand you check your bag if it's over a certain size. Find out what the size is, typically a backpack or larger, so you can bring a smaller bag to keep on you during the visit. Ma'am, yeah. you're gonna need. To, is that yeah. my coat, ma'am? On, uh, <laughs> on the bodies? <laughs> did they did they take my coat and put it on the my, bodies? They put it on the bodies. We demand, ma'am. You, you check your coat, ma'am. You're gonna need to. Uh, you're gonna need to uh, check that bag. I'm, I'm pregnant, <laughs> ma'am. Please don't resist. She's resisting. Oh my god, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> I just you need to check that bag. I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> we demand it. She's resisting. She's resisting. She's resisting. I just wanted to. All right. I'll come back same time tomorrow. <laughs> I just wanted to buy a coffee table. <laughs> what what kind of Ikea <laughs> is this? I just want to buy a coffee table. Uh, all right. Yeah. Just see if it, the museum costs money. Make sure it's open. See if you need to pay for it. Bring some you know, money. Bring yeah. some money. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay. Because, yeah, there, some are different. Some operate with charges. Is the museum and sex free? No. Uh, you, you do have to buy uh, mm. tickets. But they also have, like, they have different exhibits and certain things. One thing that they do have there, they have a bouncy house made of boobs. Boobs. <laughs> boobs, kid. <laughs> They got a fucking bouncy house. Bouncy house made of boobs. Made it's wicked boobs. awesome. Where show where the boobs? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean it's closed? <laughs> Look, it's all dry tomorrow, same time. <laughs> Guys, moving on. Uh, the top six tip is plan your transportation. That's right, everybody. Just, just We're not museum. even at the just museum a, yet. Just a giant bouncy house of boobs? Yeah, dude. It, 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 well, you know, it's an inflatable, but. A giant inflatable boob? Not just one boob, multiple boobs in different color boobs. Keep going. 
Yeah. And this is all and an Ikea. And you can bounce in it. You can, yeah. Uh, and this is all an Ikea <laughs> museum. The furniture museum. Oh, yeah. Guys, the top six tip is plan your transportation. That's right. We're not even at the museum yet. Yeah. Uh, in major cities, driving to a museum means steep parking fees. That's how it, it gets you. Try to take public transportation like trains or buses if possible. Limit the amount of walking you do ahead of time since you be walking a lot at the museum, especially if you're going to the, the walking, walking museum. <laughs> <laughs> and we're synced up. Let's go. You're going to be doing a lot of walking, walking. especially <laughs> at the walking <laughs> museum. Especially if you go to the walking museum. Uh, anything oh can really be a museum. <laughs> <laughs> you can be a museum. Uh, I'm a museum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a museum. <laughs> Closed again. Closed. Uh, yeah. Um, guys, plan. Yeah, you wanna, <laughs> you wanna, you wanna get there safely. You don't wanna. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still stuck. You're gonna be doing a lot of walking. <laughs> Especially if you go to the walking museum. Uh, uh, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Guys, a lot of this <laughs> up until this point is, you know, do your research. Uh, also, make sure you have money for specific fees or certain things, yeah. charges make that sure, you might need to sure do. Make sure the museum's open. Make sure you're, you're wearing your walking the, shoes. Go to the right one. Make sure you're wearing yeah. your... your your some good sneaks. Good sneaks. Hi. Right, well, this is this is really good so far. Uh, let's take a break. Yeah. You know what? Okay. We're on our way. We're in our public transportation on our way to the museum. Let's yeah. uh let's take a load off. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. We're gonna drive to the to the driving museum. Yeah. That's it. Bye bye. Alrighty. Okay. We're gonna take a break at the break museum. <laughs> Well, hello, everybody. Whoa. Whoa. I hope you're. Whoa. I hope these tips Boops. are. Uh, you're enjoying these tips. I need a break. Yeah. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you need a break. And that's why we, t- we took a break. Um, uh, we are currently on our. Oh, my God. Are <laughs> you, you okay? Guys, we. This is a moment in the episode. We take a quick break <laughs> and uh, hey, go to all the social medias. Yes, uh, fucking, <laughs> fucking subscribe, subscribe. It subscribe. really goes Share a long with your way. Friends. Share we're this on, with it. We're literally on every audio all of the platform. Platforms. We're doing this for you. Okay, yeah. you think I want to <laughs> learn about this? And of course, huh? the best, the best uh, place uh, to follow us. And uh, click and like and comment, all that stuff is Instagram. (laughs) Instagram, because that's where the party's at. That's where you'll see our trailers. Share us made by our beautiful and talented, uh, beautiful editor. Speaking of him, speaking of, let's uh, let's uh, Jose. What did you? Let me say, um, what is your favorite museum? And um, if you had to describe this episode so far in one word what would How's that be? the episode going yeah i guess my favorite museum uh i like the museums in in dc they're free and they're big and they have everything you, you want and they're all like centralized uh the episode's going terrible just just hurry up and finish i hate editing for you guys <laughs> he really has a way with word oh the editing museum really, uh, really got to him. Yeah, oh. it's just Jose's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you know, well, we're still hungover. Oh, look, looks like we made it to the museum. The end of the break. <laughs> the museum. All right, we'll see you back at the museum. Hi everybody, we're back. We're we're uh, diving, moving forward with we're the top walking. five tips. We're, we're walking, walking over to the next one. Yeah, we're walking every- over to the next <laughs> one to the, stare. Going and to the watch. next, going to the next exhibit. Uh, number five, make a priority list for what you'll see. Okay, do not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got your list. Do not attempt to see everything unless it's a very small museum. With just a few rooms, you'll 
easily become overwhelmed both physically and mentally by staring at pictures. Make a list of the things you'll need, you'd like to see and prioritize that's most meaningful to you. I, so, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm overwhelmed physically and mentally. Just read these tips. Correct. <laughs> For example, if you're visiting in Lowry. Oh, my God. The Louvre, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> you're doing it on purpose. The, the Lowry. If you're visiting the Lowry in, in Paris. Pa- in Paris. <laughs> Is the Mona Lisa a must-see for you, question mark? If so, make that number one on the list. And then add a few more things you simply can't leave without seeing. After that, write down some things that you'd like to see but wouldn't devastate you if you missed them. I'm devastated. I'm uh, I, I, missed didn't the, see, I missed the banana. I <laughs> missed the banana. Uh, uh, God, I've been walking all day trying to find yeah. the walking museum. I'm devastated. Um, visit the museum's website to see what's new or what's most popular, or ask friends or family who've been there before what they recommend checking out. Pick one to two exhibits that interest you or about 20 pieces of art, sculptures, or other items that are of interest to look at in depth. Yeah, you know, yeah, well, you got to know what you're getting into. Yeah, you know, I, I think... It, it can be so overwhelming to go to a museum and not even know what the museum has in it or where you're going because that's where it, it's when like, it's open. It, or, <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, but like it can be overwhelming because like, where do I go? There's so many exhibits. There's so many holes. There's so much walking. What actually interests me? Holes. Halls. Halls. Oh, you said holes. Holes. I don't know. Okay. The whole museum. <laughs> I'm yeah. tired of this, Grandpa! <laughs> I'm too <laughs> damn bad! <laughs> you, you, you keep digging! You, you keep digging! I'm devastated I didn't see the Louvre. Oh, Jesus. No, but it's important because I've been in museums with, well, your, on, with on your, tr- your grocery list. Well, no, I've been in museums with, like, I don't know, like a group of people, and I'm like, I don't fucking know to where to here. go. <laughs> I don't know where to go. It can be overwhelming, especially with these huge ones like the Met. Or or other ones, you know. Sometimes I mean, I, the biggest reason why some people go to museums is because there is a specific piece or a specific exhibit. So, again, do your research. Know what you want to go and see because um, the top four tip, which we're moving on to, is limit the visit to two hours. You know, uh, beyond that, yeah. you risk uh, becoming tired. And losing track of the things you've enjoyed most about the museum. If you have children with you, you may need to make it even shorter than this. Planning your visits on free or discounted days can help you feel like you're not wasting money by staying so briefly. That's another thing. Um, I, uh, I cannot even imagine going to a museum for a whole day. It's like, it's... A couple of yeah. hours max. Yeah. You it's go, a lot of sitting or standing. In, pop in, check out a couple of things, and then you get out of there. A yeah. whole day. That's it's exhausting. It's yeah. like going to Disneyland, but there's no rides. But there's no rides. <laughs> <laughs> going to a it's museum for a whole going, day. It's like going to Disneyland, waiting in line all day, and there's and no rides. And you can just do that at Disneyland. You can just do that at Disneyland, but there's rides. That is such a good analogy. Going to a museum is like... <laughs> To Disneyland, but there's no ride. Exactly, <laughs> that's really good. Um, except, yeah, guys, except the booby bounce. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that's, uh, that's a ride. Um, no, but it's important. Like, know what you can handle. Yeah. Uh, when you're going to a museum, because it, it's all connected. If you you're going in there and you just get lost and stuff, it it, it can be overwhelming. Night at the museum. Night this at type the museum. of stuff starts happening. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't go for too long because you're gonna get bored anyways. Go to number three. You're gonna get bored anyway. <laughs> Arrive, well fed. Try to stay two hours long. No, I'm serious. The only the, I I think Museum of Sex. I think I was there for over two hours, probably like three or something. Because there's, I mean, sir, there's stop multiple. The ex- <laughs> sir, 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 stop. Sir, touching sir the- get off. Do not mount the exhibits. But I, I there was. Multiple floors, different exhibits, all this different stuff. There was also video, you know, films and certain things. Uh, well, so what is this museum of sex? Dude, it's, like, it's, it's like about, different types dude, of penises, different well, types no, of vaginas. no, no. It's like, I mean, I, I, the last time I went was fucking, geez, 
like 2016, I think. It's been six or so so years, six, seven years. But, I mean... Is there a gift shop at the end? There is. It's really? basically a sex store. Nice. No, I'm serious. Yeah, and you can buy condoms or get free condoms, certain things like that, certain things. Uh, yeah. So just Party condoms? <laughs> so you can get, like, condoms and uh, uh, condoms. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, but um, it's, uh, you know... That museum is cool because you can learn about just it's it's the most universal thing we should in go. the world. Okay, number three, arrive well fed and comfortable. Yep, eat a sizable meal before you arrive Don't so arrive. that you're not distracted by hunger. That's nice. Yeah. Eat a giant meal so you can pass out in the middle of the <laughs> fucking museum. Oh. You pass out in <laughs> one of the exhibits it's like. Is yeah, that, is, that, is that the exhibit? Is, that, is he part of the exhibit? <coughs> is that is he? He's exhibit, right? <laughs> he's an exhibit. He's, he's exhibit <laughs> <laughs> from, from in my rack. Is that exhibit? Exhibit was a museum. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. So you're not distracted by hunger. Is that exhibit? <laughs> in an exhibit. It's exhibit in an exhibit. I can't, dude. It's so fucking dumb. I'm so angry. What are you uh, talking about? What yeah, do you- don't get distracted by hunger, you know, because if you're looking at the <laughs> banana artwork and you're like, I'm fucking hungry, you don't, you don't want to eat the artwork. And dress in comfortable clothing. Uh, especially when it comes to shoes, wear something with good arch support or insoles and should be on your feet for most of the museum business. <laughs> Unless you go to the sit down exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there a sleep exhibit? That's the I'd go there. <laughs> the different types of beds. Yeah. Eat a large meal and show up in your pajamas. <laughs> Show up in your what? Your pajamas. <laughs> because you, you're gonna yeah, you're gonna you pass get, out in an exhibit. Shit. <laughs> shit. Yeah, they get to go to the bathroom exhibit. All right. Oh, guys, we're uh, in the top two. We're in the top two, and the top two oh, tip is I'm devastated by. <laughs> All the stuff I haven't gotten to see. No, me too. <laughs> we saw you know what? we saw exhibit. We're, we're, we, we, we saw exhibit. <laughs> And that was that was number one on my priority list. That was number one. To see that, was, that was number one. The seven. The, We're going the, to the exhibit. I need to see exhibit. One. That's one. one. And then, that's one A and one B one is C. get him to pay. <laughs> That's all I had on my priority <laughs> list. See exhibit and get him to pit my ride. I kept asking him, and then I realized we were in the wax museum. <laughs> so I was talking to exhibit in the wax museum, <laughs> and he was, you know, he was a really great listener. Oh. <laughs> Guys, the top two tip is uh, take frequent breaks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 we should have. We should have built in a few more bra- uh, breaks in this. Uh, guys, if there are benches or chairs offered for museum patrons to use, take advantage of them. Guys, yeah. you're already <laughs> in your pajamas. Well fed. Well fed. Wear your best ar- art yeah. support <laughs> You better, you better, you better have fucking brought your favorite blanket. <laughs> Cause you're already, you're already in your heart support pajamas. Okay, you're already in your pajamas. You're well fed. You had a Thanksgiving meal before you showed up. Yeah, take advantage of those. Look fucking- at a piece of art and then take a little break. Guys, it bet- sit for a few minutes whenever you feel yourself getting fatigued. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a museum cafeteria, grab a. <laughs> <laughs> If there's a, oh my god, I'm dying. Yeah. If there's a museum We're cafeteria, both just sweating. I know. If there's a museum cafeteria, grab a drink, sit, and chat with your friends or family for a little while before continuing. 
crying, dude. Dude, it's so good. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, take frequent breaks, especially if you have a, a high metabolism and you're not feeling well fed. You better eat a fucking yeah. Thanksgiving turkey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you better eat it quick. Because if you are not well fed and in your pajamas wearing your arch support sneakers and not taking advantage of those benches... Yeah. Oh. You're not going to have a good time. You're not going to have a good time. <laughs> well, yeah, Sweet t- a Thanksgiving turkey before <laughs> going to see exhibit. Uh, oh. We're at the number one tip, everybody. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, um, <sighs> discuss your favorites with your companions. Open a dialogue with a friend or family member who's accompanying you. Ask them which painting or fossil... <sighs> Was their favorite and why? Discuss something you learned that surprised you. <laughs> Exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was number one on my list. <laughs> <Priority> <laughs> <That> was, <laughs> this is a good way to connect with your companions as well as as well as get a better sense of the exhibit you saw. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still trying to make sense out of exhibit. Yeah, what, what you, was your <laughs> what was your favorite exhibit during these tips that we visited? Because we visited a lot of exhibits. Um, I just you know just uh, make sure that uh, you know probably just. Are you gonna lo- answer my question? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm taking a break. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> Good. I just had a Thanksgiving I turkey. <laughs> I'm ready for the mama. The mama. Let's go. Uh, uh, watch um, watch out fa- if you're going my, to the bench my, museum. My, my, yeah, the sleep museum. My favorite <laughs> uh, tip was uh, um, just... Uh, Arrive well fed I, and comfortable. I, I, I think uh, 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 going to the website and making sure that you know, there's actually exhibits you want to see before yeah. you go all the way there. Yeah. Do uh, re- yeah. Do yeah. research. Yeah. I. Uh, <clears throat> what was your favorite exhibit? I really liked. Uh, I think it, the, our visit to this exhibit really started cooking when uh, we were told. <laughs> Get ready to walk, because you're going to be walking a lot if you're going to the walking museum. The walking museum. It's something about transportation, it. making sure you're not on your feet too much, because you're going to be on your feet a lot. And if you are on your feet, make sure you have your arch, arch support sneakers, <laughs> your Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> your Thanksgiving turkey, well-fed piece of shit. Is that, is that exhibit? Is that Exhibit eating a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> uh, hey, well, that's how you enjoy a museum, everybody. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. Yep, that's yeah. how you do it. That's how you do it. Do exactly, uh, do, what, we do exactly what we said. Do exactly Listen, what we said. Priority list number one. <sighs> For as much as we we see, but it's good because as off the rails as we can go, they Thank still get the information that they need from the tips. They do. So you're still learning mm-hmm. it. That we're like, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry. Sometimes when we're we're really really struggling, can you see? I have like tears on my. Yeah. Like, sometimes we are struggling so much. That um, I already fucking forgot what I was gonna say. Who the fuck cares? Nice. Yeah. Well, that was <laughs> I had to do. Oh, 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 I remember. Sometimes we're struggling so much, and we have laughing fits that we need to, by the end, humble brag and be like, "See, we got yeah, through it. See, 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 see. We, 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 we're Dude, men of that our was word. At the top of my list. We're men of our word. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it. Uh, hey, thanks to watch the Bad Doozy podcast. Everybody. Yes, guys. It means know, a lot. It really does. Yeah. Um, comment, please, what your favorite tip was or your favorite moment, you know? Yeah. And if you have anything to add. What's your favorite museum? What's your favorite exhibit? So I exhibit, so I cannot go. <laughs> so share this with your friends. Yes, guys. If there's, And lastly, if there's anything that you want to learn about and have us teach you while we also learn about it, or if you want to be a guest on the episode and and join the fun, 
please let us know. We are always uh, willing to, to learn from others and uh, yeah. challenge ourselves for new topics and stuff. Yeah, we really do. And I know Exhibit Exhibit passed away, right? He's dead. Holy shit. I think Exhibit's yeah. dead, yeah. Exhibit rapper. And he died. No, he's still alive. He's still alive? Yeah. He is? Is. I feel like he died. <laughs> is exhibit, exhibit alive. alive? Yeah, he's. Yeah. What? He's still alive. Exhibit, if you're listening to this, <clears throat> pimp our podcast. Pimp our podcast. <laughs> Guys, and without further ado, um, uh, we'll see you later. I got to go eat another Thanksgiving turkey. I got to go eat another turkey you made. <laughs> We're Bye. going to we're, we're going to the podcast museum. Uh, we love you guys. See you next you. week. Jose. Jose, we're sorry. We're sorry. I love you. I can't go to the blow my brains out museum. <laughs> okay. The suicide museum? No, don't joke about it. I wasn't. I really want to go check it out.